Hello everyone, my name is Dana. Welcome back to my channel. I am the HGIC here at Divine Goddess Soaps. Today I will be making flower pot bath bombs using this flower pot mold from Kata. The embeds that I'm using here are the same embeds that I used in the watering can. These are a set and they also go with some flower toppers that I will be showing in later videos. The bath bomb mix is colorless. Uh, I decided just to do them white so that I could really show the paint colors. And then it's scented in rose quartz fragrance oil from Brambleberry. This mold is very easy to use. I highly recommend it if you're a beginner uh, and you're new to th three piece, uh, 3D printed three piece molds. I didn't have really any issues with it, uh, even as my mix started drying out. And I'm just going to let those dry for a couple days and then we'll come back and paint them. This color that I'm using here is the neutral gray from Nurture Soap. And I'll be painting the entire bath bomb with that. I wanted to leave the watering can and the flower pot somewhat neutral uh, so that the flower toppers could shine. And of course I misted this off camera before I started with 91% rubbing alcohol. You could also use 99 if that is more available to you. Uh, 91 is more popular here where I am. You wouldn't want to use anything less than 91. Uh, the percentage is the percentage of alcohol to water. Uh, so you don't want to use anything that has a higher water content because it could cause your bath bomb to activate. And then here I'm just going to go in and do some splatter on it. Uh, the splatter paint that I'm using is the Winter White Mica from Nurture with a little bit of the Pearl, um, I think pearl Glitter Mica from Misty's Magic Supplies. It might just be Glitter Pearl. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please pamper that like button. And remember, remember to take some time to pamper your inner goddess today. Self-care is important for every her, him, and they. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.